welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be the glass clear plates from Dollar Tree with Mod Podge and material. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working on something like this today. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that today. So let's get started with some of the supplies that you guys are going to need today. First of all, you're going to need a clear plate from Dollar Tree. You can get this in the plate section, glasses, I'm not sure which aisle it is, but wherever your glasses and dishes are. You're going to need some rubbing alcohol. You can pick that up anywhere. You can get some Mod Podge. You can pick this up from Michael's, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby. Use your coupons, guys. If you have coupons, they always have coupons online. You're going to need scissors, wire clippers, some kind of cotton ball to clean your residue off your plate. You're going to need sponges so you can spread your Mod Podge. You're going to need some kind of cording. This is from Joann's. It was $2.99. I used a coupon. This one is one-sixth of an inch. You're going to need material. I picked this up also at Joann's. This is the little candy hearts that say, Be Mine, Hugs, Kisses, Love, XO, XO. And then this one I picked up as well. It's really cute. It's sparkly. It's got hearts on it, but you can use any kind of material. They have several different ones in stock right now. You're also going to need some kind of embellishments. I picked these up at, I believe, Hobby Lobby, but I picked them also up at Dollar Tree. I do have some pink fluff and white fluff that I probably will use on the plate. And, of course, your glue gun. All right, guys, so let's get started. So you're going to want to go ahead and take your alcohol, your rubbing alcohol. You're going to go ahead and clean your plate really well. Get any residue off the plate. Really good on the edges. Turn your plate over. If you have any of the stickers on there, go ahead and peel those right off. Go ahead and wipe your plate real clean. And then go ahead and take a dry one and just go ahead and wet that dry. This is a super crucial part. Make sure you clean that plate really well with the alcohol and it has no residue on it. Your Mod Podge will stick better as well as your material and you will not get those streaks on your inside of your plate. Okay, now we're gonna let's go ahead and we're going to get the material out of your choice. And I already pre-cut this piece. So what I did is I just set the material down, set the plate on top, and then I just measured around the outside of the plate. So this one's ready to go. So let's go ahead and get the Mod Podge up. So you're going to go ahead and turn your plate over. Make sure there's no little marks on that plate on the inside part of the outside of the plate. Because that's where we're going to put the Mod Podge. And a lot of times if you don't get your plate clean enough, you'll see it through your material depending on the color of your material. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get your Mod Podge. Like I said, you can pick this up anywhere. And you're going to go ahead and get your brush out and just go ahead and put some Mod Podge on your plate. It does not have to be a lot. The more Mod Podge you do use, it's not going to dry as quickly and that's how you're going to see those lines through your material. So just go ahead and Mod Podge your plate. Make sure you all get the edges really well because you want your material to stick. Remember, you do not need a lot of this Mod Podge on your plate. The more Mod Podge you're going to have on the plate, 
that the harder it's gonna be for it to dry and you're gonna see the glue through your material. So you'll just put a light coat on there. Make sure there's not any globs along the plate. should be good. Just make sure there are no clumps or lumps in with the glue. Because that will show through your plate. Alright, and this is about ready. So this is what your plate should look like once your Mod Podge is on. There is Mod Podge on there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get the material that you pre-cut already. And if your material does have a print that you want inside the plate, make sure you line that up to the center of your plate. This one just has lots of hearts, so it doesn't really matter. Make sure you get that laid down the very first time, otherwise you're gonna have to go back and reapply some of the Mod Podge if you don't get it on there the first time. So the best trick that I have learned to make these plates without any bumps or lumps is to use my fingers and run it down the side, make sure there's no lumps on the inside, and push it out to the outside of the plate to make sure there's no lumps or bumps. You might get some little bubbles from your material. Make sure that glue gets down there really well. All right, guys, this feels like it's on there pretty good. Now you're gonna flip your plate over and then we're gonna cut the extra material. So this is what it should look like on the inside of the plate now. And then this is the back side. So we're gonna go ahead and take your scissors. This one material is really pretty, it's very sparkly. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the extra material off, guys. Sorry about that plate noise, guys. Do not wait for this to dry. If you wait till this Mod Podge dries and leaves us like this, it's going to be a lot harder to cut. Okay. And there we have it. So there's your plate. This is what it looks like right now. I'll cut. And then this is the back of the plate. This one's very sparkly. I don't know if y'all can see this on camera. It's a very sparkly material. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and flip the plate over again. Make sure all your material's folded flat from when you cut it. And then you're gonna go ahead and get your Mod Podge one more time, and you're gonna start covering your material with the Mod Podge. I like to start in the middle and work my way out but whatever is easiest for you. You don't need a lot on this part of the material as well. Just so it puts a nice coating on the top of it. Okay. I find it easier to pick the plate up and hold it in the center just to get the rest of this Mod Podge on there. If you don't want glue on your hands from the Mod Podge, you can go ahead and wear gloves. Make sure you're getting your edges really good, guys. I like to go down on the plate. I 
and then kind of go around the edges here. And you'll go ahead and just keep going around the plate until you get back where you started at. Make sure you're getting those edges down really good, guys. Otherwise, it will lift. You can find any of this material. I'm sure Walmart has Valentine's Day material out right now. All right, guys. Sorry about that. And that's all the way back around to the plate. All right. And this is what it's going to look like. If you see any of your edges that look like they're not flat, make sure you get those covered. All right guys, and this is what it looks like when we're all done with the Mod Podge. You're gonna go ahead and set this aside and it's gonna take maybe about two hours for it to dry, depending on the temperature in your house. I like to put this on my Mod Podge container to let it dry because it's got a large lid just that way it's not sticking on anything. So I like to go ahead and set it right down like this and let it dry. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and set that aside for right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and work on the one that I already finished earlier. This one is dry. You can see the front. The back of it when it's dry will make a really hard candy sound. This material is very hard on the back side. So it's ready to go, you'll know it's dry. All the material is completely covered. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the front with we'll do some embellishments and add some other stuff as well. So let's go ahead and we're gonna add the ribbon. This one, like I said, I got at Joanne's a couple days ago. It's in the Valentine's Day section with all the Valentine's Day ribbon. So this one is pink and white. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started and you're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're gonna go all the way completely around the plate. I like to use the smaller glue gun. My bigger glue gun puts out way too much glue for these plates. So you'll just go ahead and add a little bit at a time to the edge of your plate. And then you'll go ahead and lay it down. Remember, this is not gonna be a plate that you're gonna eat off of. You're not gonna put it in the dishwasher. They do have um, micros uh, or dishwasher safe. Mod Podge if you do want to put it in the dishwasher, but this is just for display only. I made these ones at Christmas time. Everyone asked me how I got my cording to stick. I just use a small amount of the hot glue. You can also use the E6000 glue. 
It does take a little bit longer to dry. It does have a really bad odor. So if you've never used the E6000 glue, make sure you do it in a well ventilated area. Because it does smell bad. You can add whatever kind of cording matches your material, whatever you decide you're gonna pick up. I just like this pink one. It's pink, it's sparkly. I did make some at, at Christmas time with the Grinch on it. Those went super well. I know everyone was asking a million questions on that. A lot of people said that they couldn't get their cording to stick. But like I said, this is only for display only. I'm not eating off of this plate or the other one that I'll finish up, with the red hearts that I just made. I'm waiting for that one to dry. But this comes in several different colors. I did get some at Hobby Lobby and at Joann's that was red and white that went on the clearance. I think it's 80% now at Joann's from all the Christmas stuff. So I did pick up some more red and white just so I had that so I could do some more projects with the red and the white. I think I paid like 50 cents for it. So if you guys still have a Joann's and they still have Christmas stuff out, check and see if they have any more of that red and white cording. They do have some solid red ribbon, they have all kinds of stuff there that you can use for Valentine's Day right now in the Christmas section. My Hobby Lobby has hardly anything left anymore at my Hobby Lobby, period. Michael's has a lot of this cording left. I was in there a few days ago. They do have some kind of um, red and sparkly ribbon that you could get for Valentine's Day. I think those are bringing up like a dollar for like the $10 rolls. So you'll just keep working your way around the plate until you get to the end. This cording sticks pretty good on here. I haven't had any issues with it. But I just use this little tiny glue gun just because this one seems to work better. My other one it spits out way too much glue. We're almost around to the plate. All right, once you reach the end of the plate, you'll go ahead and cut your ribbon and then just make sure it stays on there. once it's all done. Easy peasy y'all. Nice and on there getting tight. So now we're going to go ahead and add our embellishments. So I think that I'm just going to go ahead and use the pink for fluff today and add my pink hearts. I don't know. I like the white one as well. Let me see what the white looks like before I start cutting this fluff because it does go everywhere. So I'm just going to do a little tiny piece. I don't know, what do y'all think? White or pink? Alright, we'll try the pink. See how the pink looks. And on the next project we'll do the red or the white. So I'm just going to go ahead and 
just eyeball what I want it to sit on. Let's see. How much fluff do I want here? Uh, that looks about good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And if you've never used this marabou fluff, as you can see, it goes everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and cut this extra piece off down here. <laughs> There's feathers everywhere. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this right where the two pieces came together from the beginning to the end. And then I'm just going to start hot gluing this on here. I'm going to curl the end of this up in there. So it sticks. Now there's feathers everywhere. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go ahead and start curling it up and gluing it to the inside of the plate. You can add whatever embellishments that you have on hand. I like the fluff. You could do ribbon. I did do uh, ribbon during the holiday on the Grinch ones, which were really cute. There is fluff everywhere, guys. <laughs> if you don't like fluff, try a different embellishment. Try ribbon or anything else that you guys might like. I just like the fluff. I'm going to go ahead and glue this some more together. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down right here. Alright, that glue does take a few minutes to set up, y'all. like right now. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and decide what to add to this. I'm going to add these little hearts onto here. So I'm going to just go ahead and flip these off of here. These are a little hard to cut. There we go. Okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and add some of these on here. So we're just going to go ahead and start gluing these on there. See which ones we like. So I'll have to cut this one a little bit shorter. All right, guys, we're just going to go ahead and finish this up and get the glue gun back out. We're just going to stick some glue on here. I'm going to go ahead and keep adding these on here.
guys, we're almost done with this. And then you can add pretty much whatever you want after this. how you do it guys you can add whatever you guys want to this plate any embellishments and that's it guys so i hope you enjoy this video if you like it subscribe and like my channel and y'all have a good day thank you